Hello world, oh, this is Wolfstar Games, and welcome back to more Robotics Notes Elite. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for last time for my webcam flicking out on me and completely not working for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure what happened, uh, and it kind of happened again before I started recording here. So, um, a little worried, at least to say. So, just another added thing to uh, pay attention to. And, you know, it's like if, if I look down, uh, that will be the reason why, because I'm checking to see if my webcam is still active. Anyway, uh, with that all said, Last time, uh, we were witness to a PTSD moment with Juna, which was very concerning and worrying. I hope she is doing okay now, now that it is the next day in the story. So I only, I only pray and hope that she's doing okay now. The next day. Yes, Sakiho? She she sounds a little uh tired or maybe tired or After school, Akio comes stumbling over to my desk. Junga, you tsukitsukete kita yo. And no, she that was a, the voice of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Not tiredness. Juna quit the robot club. Uh, and of course that makes Akiho sad. Nanyo? Come on, Kaito. Taibutodoke. You can submit those online, but apparently she went out of the way to write it out on actual paper. I mean, a hard copy is better, in my opinion. This is her way of being clear about her intentions. Yes. Very Juna-like, if you ask me. And no luck? Right. Yeah, it's like the her PTSD moment seems to have pushed her over the edge. Uh Shikamone, Hiryasminanka, Mitsui Santo, Yamamoto Sanga Gado Stikte, Junto and Matomoni Hanasena Kotashi. Alright, those two. I kind of forgot about those two. <laughs> it's like we haven't seen or heard from them. Well, actually, we don't even have sprites for them. So we haven't heard from them in ages. <laughs> Kaito doesn't know them, does he? Ah, uh, that tough, uh, that one tough looking girl and the hot head. Okay, he does know them. <laughs> I, maybe, I, though, Juna was, seemed to have made the choice on her own. It's like, I I don't really see her going to her friends to, you know, come to a decision. I mean, there's really nothing she can do. Taibutodoke we shouldn't have 
tried to fix Yoshiro. That's all I'm saying here. It's like, we shouldn't have fixed him. We should have tried fixing another robot. I lightly tapped the depressed Akiho's shoulder. Aki-chan, what is that? Some uh, Kimijima report business, I take it? Eh? I really wish he'd tell her. I, I don't think there's any way to change Juna's mind about this. I mean, she's dead set on quitting. That would be best. Yes, let's give Juna some space. Oh? What's this proverb? Pushing doesn't work. Pull. Okay. I think he I think I know what he's getting at here. But not but I'm not entirely sure. So I mean, it does sound kind of made up. <laughs> I flash her a smile <laughs> and silently exit the classroom. <laughs> smooth, Kaito, smooth. Akio continues to whine behind me, <laughs> but I ignore her as usual. Oh. <laughs> now what? I lean against my scooter and whip out my phone droid. Okay. The personal business of mine is this. Locating Kimijima report number four. Figured as such. After Juna left yesterday, I kept making adjustments to Gojiro-kun until I got him working. So, Kaito actually got... Jo Gojiro kun working. Good for him. I only managed to get his lights to turn on. Oh, that's something. The poor sap couldn't stamp a thing. <laughs> I mean, what is he even supposed to stamp? But that was enough to activate the trigger, according to Aidy. All right. I've finally managed to activate all of the report number four triggers. Which means its AR annotation should be visible somewhere. It's taken me a whole month to get to this point. A month. Jeez, if it took him a month just to activate all the triggers for report number four, how long is it going to take him to get... Like, five, then six, then seven. I've been through a whole lot. Now I just gotta find the damn thing. Hi, I wait until the students nearby leave, then summon Aidy. I'm surprised he he's even doing this uh, while still at school. A moment later... Hi! <laughs> it's either she pops up or enters from the left side of the screen. <laughs> uh, and either way, it's just adorable. Uh, hi, Aidy! Aidy <laughs> cheerfully responds, as usual. I immediately tap her forehead to summon Gijene. <laughs> Just straight to business. Uh, 
アクセスを確認しましたゲシネーモードに移行します君島レポートナンバー4はどこにあるか予測はつく yeah, no clue, right? フラグから判断するのが近道かと思われます Right. Like last time. Number y o u の f r a g n o c h i i c h i n a t o k t e d e k i s o n a m o n o a i k a n o m i t s u d e s f r a g s o n o n i t a n a g a s h i m a n o y o n k a s h o n o o s m e p o i n t o k a r a s a t s e s t a l o k e t o n o u c h a g i s a s h i n o i l u o n i u p l o d o s u r u o s m e p o i n t o n o y o n k a s h o a i k a n o t o r i d e s t a h a s e t e n b o k o e n 宇宙ヶ丘公園七色坂官房台竹崎展望台フラグその3ロボクリニックに保管されている五次郎くんを起動するロボクリニックは中種町と南種町の境長谷の交差点付近にありますフラグその4ジオタグを付与した火縄銃を一発以上死者する種子島には火縄銃に関する記念碑や歴史的な遺物を展示する場所が複数存在します。All right,、uh, I figured that with、uh, firing the matchlock gun, that the、uh, place where we fired it, you know, at the beach, would be. The place to look. But I guess this makes more sense. It's like looking for conservatories or, or like maybe also a museum too. Zenbu Maro to Moto Kanari Bunsan s t e r i k a n g a Kakaru. True, it's going to take a long time. I could scab a show s h i b o r i k o m i t a 以上の条件から絞り込むとすれば、ロボクリニック、ハセ展望公園、宇宙ヶ丘公園、角倉岬、種子島宇宙センター。あ、ちょっと、カロクラカロクラあ、ちょっと、カロクラカロクラ Cape located in the southernmost region of Tanegashima. It features a monument for the introduction of guns to Japan and a Mizaki shrine. Mizaki shrine. That's Misune's name. I wonder if she might have been named after this shrine, which are popular tourist spots. The Portuguese landed and introduced guns on August 25th, 1543. Ages ago. <laughs> What the heck is that sound? I swear, every time I'm like in IRUO and I back out of the、uh, tips, that sound is made. It's like, what is that supp sound supposed to be of? Anyway, so it's like, it, 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 I'm so confused with that. Okay. With that done, I can just hit each place up one by one. We shall. I really hope I can find the AR annotation at one of these spots. I guess I'll use a Deluo map to pick out potential spots. Alright, before I do though, just, just kind of curious. Coming to school today, can I come visit you in class? How was yesterday? Yeah, trying to reach out to Juna. Mm. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so we are here at school. <laughs>
So we're, okay, down here. So the Robot Clinic, Hase Park, Uchigaoka Park, Space Science Museum, and Karo, Karokura Mizaki. Okay, that's all one name. Okay, <laughs> that's a long name. I, I actually kind of want to go here first to see what this place is. And there might be a geotag here for me, so I guess we'll find out here. This is Cape Karukura. Okay. Could the Kimijima report be here? Um, more than likely not. This is this is like a park, so ah, but there is a geotag, Misaki Shrine, entrained deity, Oko uh, ok, ok, Oko Nushi no Mikoto, Ori no Mikoto. That was a mouthful. <laughs> All right. I figured there would be a geotag here, and there was. So, with that out of the way. So, okay. The guide that I've been following for these other routes actually uh, tell me where the Kimi Jima report is. So... And, and we are going to go to Hase Park. This is Hase Park. Could the Kimijima report be here? And it is apparently, yeah, under the table here. It's so weird that there isn't actually any kind of like marker for it you just kind of have to look for the radical to change color which is what kind of threw me off with report number three so <laughs> that's why it took me so while to find that one but here we are Kimijima report number four Thank you, Gijane. Perfect. I'll read it here. Okay. We should be getting into some more heavy stuff here. There's not a person to be found in this huge park. Makes sense. It was built with the specific purpose of watching rockets launch. Right. It's large, and there are only a few pieces of playground equipment. Locals would never have come here on a weekday. I lie down on the lawn and bring up the report on my phone droid. Alright, report number four. There is no company more acknowledgeable in propaganda than the, than the Tavistock Institute. They have at least one century's worth of research. That's a ton of research then, Jesus. One century's worth? The real value of it showed in the 1900s during World War I and World War II. Which makes perfect sense, doesn't it? During the times of two of the biggest events in history what they do is guide others to follow the direction of the group's will the guidance succeeded with help from the government but the effectiveness went down over time due to that they went undercover and started doing research to tap into people's unconsciousness during everyday life Wait. St tap into people's unconsciousness? So... Like... Tr 
that makes it sound like they're trying to, like, pr kind of probe into people's brains, but more like telepathically, <laughs> since it's dealing more with the unconsciousness and not the the human brain. Is this like some like kind of sci-fi way of brainwashing people? I mean, th that sounds like a possibility. It's obvious that the Committee of 300 was able to control major media networks all over the world thanks to their connection with Tavistock. Right. At one point, TV broadcasts had a problem regarding subliminal effects, but that was just a childish prototype of propaganda. Really? Okay. Uh, subliminal effects through TV broadcasts is just a childish prototype of propaganda. That's... That's really looking at that very, uh, minusculely, as if it's not important, but it is. It's like, th that's kind of a huge, uh, thing to, you know, pay attention to. The subliminal effects in TV broadcasts. You never know what you could be taking in with watching anything on television and getting some kind of subliminal effect from watching it and you not knowing that what you're getting is a subliminal effect, you know? So it, it's just, it's just a kind of a small-scale way of brainwashing. At least that's how I see it. A barely qualifying as brainwashing. Yeah, th there we go. So it's... It's just kind of on the borderline of a way of brainwashing people. And in recent years, they now hide among your everyday life, aiming to guide your mind. That's a really scary thought. Hide among your everyday life to guide your mind? Ugh. That... You know, not much creeps me out. This right here is actually kind of creepy and I would be very worried about my you know my being and my mind if this were to happen in real life huh. this is not somebody else's problem are you sure about that? This applies to you, who's reading this report. <laughs> you meaning Kaito, and me, the player, <laughs> reading this as well. <laughs> you even have to be aware in your daily life. They infest everything. <laughs> that is... Flipping scary when you really think about it. They will not be coming in at a massive scale like public opinion, but will instead attack people directly in their minds. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it really is like... Like a masterful, like, manipulation of your mind to get you brainwashed subliminal mess uh, messages in tv broadcasts while it may be 
like a borderline way of getting you brainwashed. There's, of course, a much more, you know, effective ways to brainwash people. But they really haven't talked about what those ways are. They've only talked about the subliminal messaging. So, it, it makes me worried what kind of other ways they're trying to brainwash people. Uh, let's see, where was I? Uh... Uh, you have to understand that the things you thought you decided on your own were chosen from them looking into your thoughts. Ugh, okay. It is dangerous to believe in your thoughts 100% of the time. 100% of the time. So, in other words, all the time. You should de you should decentralize your thoughts to reduce risk of brainwashing. Decentralize your thoughts. I mean, exactly how does one decentralize your thought their thoughts to reduce the risk of brainwashing? I have never heard of uh, this way of trying to reduce the risk of brainwashing. It, this is fascinating. Huh. My predictions are poor at the so societal level compared to the personal level. Okay. Data sharing s uh, data sharing system via cloud computing Cloud computing, like iCloud, <laughs> is inevitable in society's in infrastructure. But at the same time, media and corporations don't know that there is a danger lurking. Regarding computer security standards remaining unchanged, the risk that was spread out is easily concentrated into one place. Into one place. Well, what is that one place that it's concentrated onto then? Or into, excuse me. Because of that, a major leaking of personal information will happen. They need to notice quickly. Project Mars originally had nothing to do with Project Atom, but is a project running parallel to it by the Committee of 300. Depending on the situation, there is a chance it can link with Project Adam to do a terrorist attack. Okay, so each project, Pro Project Mars, Project Adam, and I t take it also Project Noah that we had read about before, uh, are all kind of while they may be independent of each other they also you know interlock within each other it seems with reading this and also but uh, by the way um with project noah I, it was actually brought to my attention that the a Project Noah is in reference to a Chaos Head, which of course I have not played because that has not been localized. So, I, hopefully, at some point they will localize the game. I, I really am hoping that. I mean, they've localized Chaos Child. Why haven't they localized Chaos Head? Anyway, back to the report here. Uh, let's see. If that happened, human society would be in even more chaos. Uh, yeah, no kidding. 
Project Mars is not currently a threat in 2009. But as time goes on, it will be more of a threat. The project is still experimental, but in 10 to 20 years, the situation will definitely change. Right. I hope that the horrifying devices known as robots do not flood our society. Horrifying devices known as robots. Uh, that, that's an interesting thing to read in this report, considering that this whole game is uh, centered on the students of the Robot Club. <laughs> Uh, but, but the Tavistock Institute is capable of making people all over the world interested in them. Of course, they are. The main goal of Project Mars is a vulgar sci-fi-ish idea of robots rebelling. I mean, that wouldn't be the first time I've seen robots rebelling in a piece of fiction. <laughs> So, if that happens in this game, it wouldn't surprise me all that much. But you cannot ignore and mock it. I mean, I definitely won't ignore it. I won't be surprised by it, though. <laughs> and I, But I won't mock it. Depending on the situation, robots can easily replace humans. Which solidifies my theory that with you know reading through Kimijima report number three that the robots will take over the population of the world and all of us humans will be sh in underground shelters It's like, it kind of makes you wonder that if that happens, w will the robots, like, mimic human behavior if, th if they're advanced enough? If Project Adam fails in 2015, a a large solar disturbances will next arrive in 2019 and 2020. Well, that... That seems to be on the horizon. I mean, we haven't experienced a huge solar disturbance yet. But, you know, 2019 isn't over in game here. Once past that, the sun will enter a period of stability. In other words, this period of maximum solar activity is a convenient trigger for the Committee of 300. One could say that for the next decade, the Earth will become a favorable testing ground for the Committee of 300. Oh now, what does that mean? A favorable testing ground? Like, as if we're all going to go extinct? I mean, that kind of sounds like what's going to happen. I mean, it's. I mean, with this solar activity or disturbance, can it be an activity that? can wind up eradicating a bunch of the Earth's population? That's kind of worry worrisome. Uh, let's see. Uh, you should be suspicious about abnormal weather phenomenon and, if possible, collect data among unusual instances. Those will certainly have traces of Tavistock. 
Now, Tavistock is like a, a huge uh, member in all this, it sounds like. It's like th th this report s seems to really be talking about Tavistock, of all things. It's like their, what their involvement is. Also, abnormal weather phenomenon? So, that typhoon that hit Tanigashima, would that be considered abnormal weather phenomenon? Something to think about, I'd say. What did I just read? A very worrisome report. <laughs> That's what you just read, Kaito. <laughs>前から思ってたけど君島光さんって話が長いタイプだったでしょもっと要点まとめて欲しかったなあ。He's <laughs> not really rambling. I mean, he's stating facts. I mean, while while the facts aren't backed up with any kind of significant points to be made. He is trying to paint a larger picture with each report, I feel. So w once you have like all the reports, the bigger the picture will be in what is uh, going to come, I guess, <laughs> of what's going to happen. So while the points not be made in this report, I feel like they'll be made later in another report. At, at least I think so. Yashio-san, is it I mean, more than likely, Kaito doesn't like reading, and that he would just rather be playing Kill Ballad all the time. So, <laughs> I, that's kind of funny that she asks that. Like, <laughs> I, I, I figured. There's no more info in here about the exoskeleton company. Was he expecting there to be? That's honestly the only thing I was interested in. Well, that's not what is in this report, unfortunately. That said, there are a few things that I found curious. ロボットブームがタビストック研究所によるプロパガンダの結果かもしれないっていうのは面白いな。Yeah. I mean, robots exploded over the last 10 years. Yeah, that big robot boom that happened. Yeah, it's like It's like thanks to the robot boom, robots are all over the place now, right? <laughs> Folks say that Gunvarel was the trigger for it all, but I mean th that that sounds very plausible, actually. No, they must Gunvarel in the last few years. There was a subliminal message that was included in it. Definitely, definitely. With, with what we saw, yeah. Which means that Gunvarel itself could have been a propaganda vehicle. Wh which... I feel has just solidified more, uh, uh, more of my theories uh, with uh, the Frau's mom. With her being, you know, missing and... 
you know, locked away in an underground shelter. I mean, I can't help but feel that, that that's what happened to her. But to what end? To make Project Whatever a success? <laughs> Project Whatever. <laughs> How does that have anything to do with robots getting popular? I don't think Kaito is quite understanding what he's reading. Just like the report said, the whole robot rebellion shtick was BS, so... <laughs> An AR, a AR? An AI saying no comment. That's kind of funny. I, I find that funny. <laughs> I mean, an AI learns stuff from talking to a real person. Her saying no comment is almost like she's a real person. <laughs> ah, so. Boring. <laughs> Maybe I should give Frau a call. The Frau, huh? It's been about a month since I last saw her. Back when the final episode leaked. And he wants to pick her brain about the last Gunvarel episode? I, I mean, he could try that, I guess. Alright, how, how much more detailed and tricky are these next uh, triggers going to be? <laughs>。レポートナンバー5のフラグをお伝えします。1。君島レポートナンバー4を発見している。Right. <laughs> it's like, it's, it seems that every report is going to have a, this trigger. Locate each report prior first. 2.旧種子島空港の滑走路.Point.A.からPoint.Bまでを 5分以内に走り切る Okay So a sprint? Or Or a hundred meter dash? We had talked about a, the a hundred meter dash like a long while back Point A Oyobi Point B no Shosai na chiten ni tsuite wa Map wo sanshou shite kudasai Well, at least uh, we get to know where point A and point B are. We don't have to randomly guess where they are. もしかして滑走路の端から端までとか言わないでよ。そんなの俺信じちゃうから。Yeah, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, with with Kaito's uh yo know, slow mo. Uh, that that's gonna. Really, that's really gonna take a toll on his body if he tries to do that in under five minutes. Is he gonna be able to do that one? What if someone, what if someone else were to do it for him? Does it have to be Kaito who does it? Yashio-san's 
滑走路の端から端までおよそ1 6 0 0メートルを走る必要があります1600メートル OK 勘弁してよ俺の中学時代の1 5 0 0メートル持久走の記録知ってるわけ <laughs> I imagine it was a long time, right? Seven minutes, yeah. And that was, and that was for, two, what was it, 1500? Yeah. So tack on to that another,、uh, another hundred meters. Yeah, it would take him what at least 10 minutes or so to、uh, run that to, to run that far, and he has to get it in five minutes, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. And in under five minutes. There's no way he's going to be able to do that in under five minutes. Especially with what he just told g i j e n e Seven minutes to get the 1500 meter, da 1500 meter dash. So. Ugh. That's going to. Kill him if he tries to do that. I was literally second to last among my male peers. Second to last? Who's the last? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, with my current health situation, I can't do hard exercise. Yeah. g i j e n e bluntly ignores my legit excuse. I mean, an AI can't really show any、uh, real sympathy, you know? <laughs> Nakatane Machi, Chuo Undo Koen no, Dikujo Kyo Nijo Trakuo, Lokujo Bio de Shukai Sru. Oh my god. These are all athletic based with this one, isn't it? Marathon, marathon track in under 60 seconds. 1600 meters in under five minutes. What's the next one gonna be? Oi, <laughs> oi. <laughs> yeah, it's like,、um, like right with Kaito here. It's like, it's like, wait a minute, hold up. There's no way I can do this with my current health problem. This is madness. What kind of super jock series of triggers is this? <laughs> Okay, I, I was expecting another、uh, running one. But. Bullseye on a target. That, that one shouldn't be too terribly bad. He could start with that first. That's it. I think this is the most difficult flag. I mean, it, it, it really seems to be that with each report that he has to trigger to activate, that with all these triggers, that each report is going to get increasingly difficult to get because of the triggers. And, I mean, And it's going to be especially difficult for him this time, especially since 
these are very athletic ones. I except for the last one, all he has to do is get a bullseye. It's like, ha how good is he at, like, archery or darts or whatever to 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 get a bullseye on a target at the Kyoto Club Dojo. タイフーが可愛く見えるレベルだ。ワンチャンすらない。お手上げ。あ、いや。いろいろ、イトズ。スローリーフェイド。ショーウェイ。だ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> As usual, info regarding the next report in this case, uh, number six is locked. My motivation is at an all time low. I don't blame him, really. I don't even care anymore. Whatever happens, happens. I mean,. I mean, what happens if he doesn't activate them? Does anything happen? I sigh and gaze at the clouds as I spread my arms and legs across the lawn. Well. That was... That was a report to read. And triggers that are very uh, <laughs> athletic to try and achieve. Hey, Juna's house is a karate dojo located in Masada. Yeah, he went to Juna's house. Seems like a nice place. Is there a uh, tip here? Yep, Daitoku Karate Dojo. Now accepting students. The phone number. Training days kids for kids Monday Monday <laughs> Monday Wednesday and Friday at seventeen hundred to eight to eighteen thirty, and then adults Tuesday Thursday and Friday at eighteen thirty to twenty thirty. I I don't know uh I I don't know military time all that well so I'm not entirely sure what times those are uh, no. I am I imagine that was the only thing here Yeah that's the only thing here Oh what day is it 27th. There was something about the 27th on my... on the guide here. Yeah, okay. So, before I do anything here, uh, what, what kind of world do you hope for, big brother? What kind of world do you hope for? One that would be more ideal to live in, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But let, let's see what these replies are. A society ruled by Moe. <laughs> oh my god, that that. That would be hilariously <laughs> kind of adorable, I guess, since it's talking about Moe. <laughs> a controlled, peaceful society. And then a chaotic, cruel society. Y yeah, no, let's not have that be the answer. <laughs> uh, let's see, what does my guide tell me? 
<laughs> All right. Uh, apparently, a society ruled by Moe. <laughs> I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense we're, since we're talking to Gijene, Heidi. I mean, she's very moe. She's very, very cute. <laughs> All right. I wasn't expecting that answer <laughs> to be the one that I had to answer with. It didn't take much to find it. I park my scooter in front of her house and take a breath. Why am I visiting Juna's house, you ask? Uh, because Akiho asks you to go to her house to try and convince her to not quit the robot club? <laughs> that would be my guess. <laughs> well, I'm here on Madam President's orders. Call it. <laughs> ねえ、かい。ジュンを何とか説得できないかな。でも、今日はもう帰っちゃったんじゃないの今頃家でゴロゴロしてるでしょ。だって心配じゃない。昨日からね、学校で話しかけてもすごくそっけないの。このままじ
部長命令だからね生きて帰れ分かった<laughs> Come back in one piece. What do you think is gonna happen, Akiho? That she's gonna karate chop the living hell out of Kaito? No, I don't got it. <laughs> and so here we are now. <laughs> I, the predicaments that Kaito gets into. <laughs> right? Uh. I, it, and it's his own fault, too, when you think about it. I mean, he decided to go to Juno's alone. So it's not like Akio's at total fault here with trying to get him to go and convince her. It's like, she wanted to go as well, but Kaito was like, no, wait, you stay, I'll go. Probably so Akio doesn't put her foot in her mouth, I'm guessing. Well, I think I'm gonna stop it here for now, actually. I mean, we got that little bit with flashing back to Akio, so... Uh, let's save, actually save talking to Juna next time. I wonder how this is gonna go. <laughs> it's like, it, is Kaito gonna get karate chopped to hell? <laughs> <laughs> or, or is he gonna come back in one piece? We'll find out. So, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.